Hi guys, Archie here. So for this video, it's about the championship phase two, the shadow fire tips and tricks. So I already did a calculation, like um, what is, um, how the shadow fire is going to calculate because that's a slightly different between the Chronos one. So if we take a look at the description here, so um, the number of points are earned determined by several factors, which is first thing, hard mode gains more points. So the showcase I'm going to do later is going to be hard mode and achieving higher rating grants more points. So the thing is, you have to keep note, they didn't mention higher score. They mentioned higher rating, which means rating is based on EX, EX+, EX++, but the highest you can go is actually just EX++, which means the more score you get, the rating will always stop at the EX++. All right, this is one thing you have to keep note. And then the higher resonant phase and the rarer quality of the red as per you deploy, the more points you receive. Though so this is same like the Chronos, which means if you have Shimmer and your Shimmer is resonance higher than your other non-Shimmer Asper, then you're going to generate more points, right? So I did a ser um, series of testing and you can go, uh, now I'm going to explain it. But before I explain it, special thanks to Mango for giving me the top one in Chronos championship because he's it seems like he's one of my viewer and uh, we are in the same division and then uh, we're actually trying to compete each other to try for the top one then in the end i i back him i back him to let me have the um top one because i really needed this 30 momo repo so i can do a showcase for momo before waiting for extra one week right so in the end he let me this top one or else i have i have to actually spend all my stamina just to compete in this division then i'm not able to compete in channel fire and apac right so special thanks to mango um, for giving out his position for me to get the top one reward so i am able to um, get the momo repo fast enough after finishing the shadow fire here then I have enough repo to get Momo and then I'm able to do some Momo at, uh, testing at global server. Right, so let's take a look at the recording. Okay, so let's take a look. This is the rating, uh, the, the recording I did on the testing. So the this team here is not the current team I'm going to run. This team here is what I used to run at the um, past, but I'm too lazy to change it. But now finally I have the um, time and opportunity to actually change it. So let's take a look here. So this one here is um, just a classic team here. And then let's take a look. If I run a 10 blitz here, my final outcome is actually uh, starting point is zero. I average EX++ and then my score average is this amount. And then the final outcome is 1,575. So divide by 10 run, which is one every run is 157.5 score. Okay, so this is the score I get per run. So now I did some changes on the team. If I put in an average R6 here, and then let's take a look at the final outcome at the blitz here. Okay, let me skip through this part here. So every score I get SSS, and the score average here is also lower. So rating wise, I'm already getting lower. The score average, I'm also getting lower, but let's take a look at the final um, score based outcome. It's 4,579. So what is the difference here? 4,579 minus 2,927. So my final score rating is actually getting every run 165 score per run. So you can see here, if I just put in an average R6 here, my average score is lower. Uh, rating is lower, score is lower, but my score gain is still higher than the one getting average EX++. Okay, so this is the difference here, which means resonance uh, is bigger than the rating okay so what now now what i did is um i did a final team um changes okay so i'm using my um proper tune team now which is team, this team here so i put in zora r6 because my zora have higher resonance and then my chu yao and Liam is going to support zora to force her attack my champion will randomly make one of them attack then Everett here is for the score boost and then Sakura here is for healing and also the passive um, damage increase and also because mine is R6 so it also provides defense and attack and speed when they took their action or getting hit up to 10 stack right so uh, you don't have to follow exactly my team you can just tune your own team for the shadow fire just that I'm sharing my own team here and the score gain uh, score gain all right so here after after 10 bleeds we can see here from 4579 I'm getting an average score of EX++ and the score average is going to be a lot more higher, right? 
but my score gain increased to 7,249, which means every run I'm getting now is going to be 267 with average R6. Okay, so this one here is EX++ um, score average. This amount I'm getting 157 per run, but now I change my rezo. Everyone is like legend rezo R6, and then uh, we have um, average R6 as well. Then my score per run now is 267. Okay, but not just that, you can see we have more testing here. So now I'm going to take out Everett R6. I'm going to put in um, Gaius and then take a look the difference. Okay, now I put in Gaius and then you can see here my average score is also EX++. I mean the rating is EX++ and then the score average overall is lower than the previous score. And then the score difference now is going to get 200, 225 per run. So which is low, lower than the average one by 40, 42 score. So you can, so you can tell now uh, a Shimmer R6 and a non-Shimmer R6, the score difference is actually 42 points per run. Okay, so the, the, the difference isn't a lot, but it does matter, okay? Then I did another testing here. So what if my... Uh, what if I'm using Gaius R6, which is non non average in the team, but my uh, overall score is higher than the first outcome? Okay, then after that, we can see here the score gain is actually the same. It's 2250. There's no difference, which means your rating is EX, your score average doesn't affect your score gain. Okay, so. You can see my Gaius R6, this, this two outcome is the Gaius R6 one, but the score different. And then this score is higher than the average one, but there's no score changes, which means rating is on, only rating matters. The score doesn't matter. And then the point gain is still um, same as the average R6 one, which means if you are if you are using the same thing, but with an average R6, you're going to get 42 points per extra per run. So to prove this higher, so I did another Everett R6 run again and then I did a blitz of 10 and then you can see the overall score I gained now is still 2670 which is the same outcome as the first team here. So my final conclusion is score doesn't matter, only resonance matter when the moment you are able to hit EX++ at hard mode. Okay, so my tips and tricks for today is use Everett R6 and then if your if your current team now is able to hit EX++ already, then use higher resonance as per to fit into your team to gain the overall resonance um, score gain because the point, the, you, the higher score you get doesn't matter. Okay, the higher score you get doesn't matter. I then uh, about the Shimmer R0, is, it, is Shimmer R0 point higher than Elemental as per R6? This one I didn't test. But if you already tested, you can also feel free to comment down um, what is the outcome. Is Shimmer R0 bigger than Elemental R6 or Elemental R6 is bigger than Shimmer R0? You can feel free to comment down and share your thoughts because we already know that rating doesn't matter. Uh, sorry, only rating matters, score doesn't matter, resonance matter. Alright, so this is um, the final conclusion for the tips and tricks for today. So I hope this thing here actually help you guys out to tune your Shadow Fire so you, you actually know what is their um, point judgment or the rating. Alright, so hope you guys enjoyed the video and see you guys in the next video. Bye bye. Special thanks for the direct support on the YouTube membership. So for the benefactor of art here, which is Gen MP, Rosas15, Moonkult Rajali, the Bluers Chulain, thank you so much for the support. And for the supporter and patron of art here, which is Louis Shaneda, Acne, Code Wilderness, Wang Tamer, Ziggy, Kamaruki, Sunwaltz, Rimu, Chani, Von Hexa, Lux Lee, Rawson Bessie, Antonio Winterspoon, Noah Archive, and Marlene Williams. Thank you so much for the support and special thanks to everyone who have been one month, two month, and four month strict in my support. So hope you guys enjoyed the video and see you guys in the next video. Bye bye.